Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a music video for YouTube without copyright issue. Okay, so the software I'm going to use is Wondershare Filmora 11 and the music I use is in the YouTube library. So it is completely free to use. You can go to the library and download the music and use it for your video. You can use it for monetization also. And added to that, I will also share my sample project so that you can download it and customize the project like the way you want. But be sure that you have Filmora 11.3 on your computer. And if you don't have the program, go ahead to the link in the description to download it. Or you can go ahead to filmora.wondershare.com to download the software. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Very nice, right? So let's go to my computer screen, okay? All right, so the first step, you need to get a free and no copyrighted music from YouTube library. Here I am at the homepage of my YouTube channel. And the next thing, you want to log into your account and then you can click this button the, at the corner of the screen, okay? And then you can go to YouTube Studio. And at the YouTube studio, you need to click at the audio library on the left side, okay? So just go to the audio library. And a good news is that this library also has some sound effect also. And if you want to use some sound effect, you can select the sound effect here also to find some sound effect for your video. And if you want to find the music, just click at the music file and make sure that you select the filter here. So be sure to select attribution not required because uh, otherwise if the attribution is required sometimes you forgot to copy the attribution to paste into video description then you will have some problem okay so select the attribution not required and then you want to select the genre or the mood of the the music and this filter also you there are many options here by the way i have my favorite artist which is netflix so i'm going to select this one Okay, so I'm going to select uh, this filter to have only the song of this artist and then you want to listen to the music and download the song that you want to use for your video. For example, I, I will listen to this song, the Go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you it is very nice, right? And now I want to download this song. By the way, you can download any song. It's up to you. Okay, so just click this button to download it to your computer. Just click the download button. All right, so now it is in your download folder. Let's right click and select show in folder. Okay, and now you know where it is, right? It is in my downloaded folder on my computer. Okay, so we finished with the YouTube library. Now we can open Filmora and create a new project. Okay, so this is my Wondershare Filmora 11 and this is an example project. So let me just explain something here first and then I will create a new project for you so that you can follow the step easily okay so firstly we have total eight layer here on the timeline so the first one is the music that I downloaded from YouTube library the second one is a solid color that I have in the media folder okay so it is in the media folder here and we have a sample color subfolder we can select any background color here and drag and drop it to the timeline. And the next one is the image of a girl or of a, of a woman. Or you can use any and any image, uh, okay? Because this one is the one that I downloaded from uh, Pizza Bay. So you don't want to download it from Pizza Bay, it's okay. You can use your image, okay? And the next one, we have a title. So we have two titles here, actually. The first one is the art artist name, and the second one is the song name. And right here, we have two effects. The first one, the white circle number one, and the next one, also the same. But I change the color and also increase the radius. And here's a title, another title. And finally, we have a retro film overlay number 15. And being mentioned that all the effects I use here are free. Uh, whenever you have a Filmora license, an official Filmora license, you can use all these effects, okay? No more subscription plan or anything like that. Okay, 
So let's delete everything on the timeline and create a new project. Okay, so let's click file and create a new project. And I'm going to select 16 by 9 because I'm going to upload this one to YouTube. So just select 16 by 9. And then I'm going to click no because I don't want to save the project. So the first thing, you want to import the music file that you downloaded from YouTube library. Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop it. So I'm going to go back to my download folder. So this is the song. So I'm going to just click and then I'm going to put it in the media folder inside Filmora 11. Okay, and the next thing, you want to bring this music onto the timeline. Just click this button to add it to the timeline. Okay, and now we have one music track on the timeline. All right, and the next thing, we need a background color, right? So we are going to select this one, the media folder, and then we select the sample color. So there are many sample color here. By the way, I'm going to use this one, the yellow cream, okay? Just drag and drop it onto the timeline, and now you want to extend the duration of this background to the end of the video here, okay? So just click here, and then hold your mouse, and then drag it to the end of the video. And now we have one background you know, you can still go. and one music file. And now it's time to lock this one and lock this one. Okay, so the next thing, we want to add, add an image and then add an uh, image mask around the image also. Okay, so for the image, I'm going to use a stock media here, right inside Filmora 11. So just click here at the stock media. Now, if you want, you can go to Pizza Bay and then select photo. And now you can search for women, girls, or anything like this, like that. By the way, I already downloaded this image on my computer, so I can select the download folder here, and then we can find an image of the woman right here. So I'm going to use this one, for example. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, so we have a very beautiful image right here. So we can select the image on the preview window and reposition it to the center of the screen. And the next thing, you want to add a shape uh, image or image mask or something like that to this image. Okay, so we can just click OK. And now we can go to the Effect tab and search. Okay, before search, we can go to the Recommended folder. And then we can search for Mask and press Enter. Okay, we can use shape mask or image mask is up to you so i'm going to use the shape mask here just click here and then drag and drop it directly to the image all right very beautiful and now we need to adjust the width and the height of the mask to do that we can just double click at the image and select the effect tab right here and then we can adjust the width here just make it smaller Okay, something like this, and I think it's okay. By the way, you can adjust it yourself, okay? And the next thing, we want to click OK. And now we also need to extend the duration of this image to the end of the video also. Just click here, and then extend it to the end of the video. Okay, and now we have an image and a background and also a music file here. And we can also lock this track. So the next thing we want to do is to add some audio visualizer to, to the video, okay? So we can select the Effect tab again, and then we can select Audio Visualizer, okay? And then uh, we need to download the one that we use for our project. So we use this one, the white line, uh, the white circle number one, okay? Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now you need to adjust the position of this effect. Maybe you want to put it right here, right here, or on the left side or right side of the, of the character, okay? To do that, you can just double click at the effect. And then you want to adjust the position. So maybe I want to move it to this side. And I think it's interesting. By the way, we can reduce the radius. And also, we need to change the color of the, the circle here also. We can click here to change the color. Maybe I will select more, and then I'm going to select this one, the green one, okay? And let's click OK. And now we have a green circle, okay? So let's play this first to see what, is it okay or not, okay? Even when you 
feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. I think it is very interesting. By the way, we are, we are going to overlay another effect, another audio visualizer effect you know, on this and reduce the radius of the circle so that we can just make it better. Okay, just click OK. And now all you need to do is to copy this one. Just right click and select copy. And now you want to paste it on top here, uh, but be sure to lock this track also. And now we can press Ctrl V to paste it, okay? And then we are going to adjust the radius and also the color of this effect. So just double click at the effect and now you want to reduce the radius of the circle, okay? So for me, I think it's, it should be okay. And then I'm going to change the color also. Uh, let's click more and then we can see like a red circle, stuff like that. Okay, but the color is up to you. Okay, so just click here and then click OK. And now we have two circles at, at the same position. By the way, we also need to extend the duration of the effect to the length of the video also. Okay, so let's unlock this one and select all the effect here and click at the edge and then extend it to the end. All right. And now let's just play the video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I Very nice. All right, so we finished with the effect. And now we're going to add some title to the, the video. Okay, so first thing we want to go to the title tab right here. And then we need to select this folder, the word art folder. Okay, so there are many word art template right here. By the way, you can use any template. It's up to you. Uh, so for me, I think the art title number six is okay. So what I'm going to do is to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And then we need to customize this title. Okay, so first thing, I want to change this text to the artist name. Okay, so it is Netflix. And the next thing, we want to resize it, so just make it a, a little bit smaller. So 44, I think 44 is okay. And then we can just click OK. And now we want to just put it right here. And another thing is the song name. So this is, uh, this is a song that we are going to use, right? And this is Go, okay? So we are going to copy and paste this title. Just select the title. Okay, and then lock the title track here. Also lock this track and lock this track. And now you want to control V to paste the title. Okay, and then you want to put it right here at the bottom of the video and change it to the name of the song, Go. Very beautiful, okay. And we also need to extend the duration of the title also. Okay, just unlock this one, select all of them, and then click here, and then you want to extend to the, the, to the end of the video, right here. And finally, you will need to add an overlay. In order to add the overlay, you need to go to the Effect tab, okay, and then you find the Overlay subfolder. So it is right here, in this one, this is the overlay, and now you need to, to find the Retro Overlay, okay? so. To do that, you can search here, Retro, Enter, and you will see the Retro Overlay number 15. All right, and this is the Retro Film Overlay number 15 that I use in my project. All you need to do is to drag and drop it at the top track right here. Okay, and now you have this beautiful overlay on your video. And you can also extend the duration of the overlay to the end of the video. Alright, so that is how to make a music video for YouTube without copyright issue using Filmora 11. And being mentioned that if you want to save this project for later use, uh, it is also possible in Filmora 11 now. For example, here I have my project and then if I want to save this project and next time all I need to do is to just replace the music file to get another video. It is very easy. For example, you can go here to the file and then you want to save project as template. Okay, so just click here and the program will save your project into the, the template folder. 
Okay, so if you want to use this one, for example, I can create a new one, a new project. Just select here and then create a new project. And now if you want to use the same project, okay, it is easy. Go to your media and then select the custom folder here. Okay, and then you want to drag and drop this one. This is the music video template number three that I have just uh, shown you how to create it. Okay, so just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Very nice, right? And now you have a completed project here. And if you want to replace this song or replace the this yellow cream or stuff like that, all you need to do is to go to the sample color. For example, I can replace the background. You want to replace it with this one, the gradient number two. So you just need to press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then click here and then just move it to here. And now it's possible to replace the background. Okay, and now you have this background. And you can also replace the image also. For example, if I select here, go to the media, the stop media right here, and then I'm going to select another image, this one. Just press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, Alt key on your keyboard, and then click and then drag it here. Whenever you see a yellow button like this, meaning that you can replace the media on the timeline. Okay, and now we have this one with the effect inside. All right, so that is everything you want to know in this tutorial. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.